Yeah, what's going on everyone? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Vite and use it in a React project. You could also use it in a vanilla JavaScript project or TS project, meaning, Java, meaning TypeScript on in edit other project that the template will let you choose. So first of all, what is Vite? It is a built-in tool aimed to provide a faster and more efficient development experience for modern web projects. It is designed to be simple, lightweight, and highly performant, making it a ideal choice for building web applications and websites, of course. In this tutorial, I will walk you through the process to setting up with for a React project. We'll go over the installation process, project configuration, and basic usage of Vit to help you start your very first web development project. So if you're excited, subscribe to this channel for more web development videos. Also, the entire code and everything that you see here or hear here is down in the video description below on my blog. So check that one out if you missed anything. So without any further ado, there are some pre-requirements before we begin. Make sure that you have the following prerequisites installed on your system. There is Node.js, also just released a video on the latest Node.js, how to install it, and also NPM, how to install NPM. Git is optional. Then a code editor, I'm using Visual Studio Code, of course, a terminal prompt or a command prompt, that is also integrated into Visual Studio Code. So if you're using Visual Studio Code, just command, just hit Control tilde, and this should open up the terminal. Also up here, you will have terminal and new terminal. This will open up in our terminal. Then some basic computer knowledge or JavaScript knowledge, of course, and a working internet connection because we are going to install Vite from the internet. A cup of coffee or tea a positive attitude as always, a desire to build out some projects and a sense of humor. Haha, <laughs> not a joke. Okay, so let's get started by installing Vite. So I just have here a completely empty folder called code. You just create it within Visual Studio Code or drag and drop it from your desktop. Now let's go down to your command line and within here we're going to type in npm init bit and then let's say my bit dash project. Hit enter. And this will create a prompt for you. This will prompt you, first of all, let me just scroll up here, with what kind of project do you want to create? Do you want to create some a vanilla JavaScript project or you want to create a view project or a React or a Lit or Svelte or Solid or any other stuff? Now, I'm going to choose React for this project. And then it's going to ask you what kind of language are you going to type? You're going to type TypeScript or you're going to type regular JavaScript or Remix. I'm going to go with regular JavaScript for this project. Now, this just created a complete project for you with exactly as you named it, my Vite project with a build folder and a source folder. Also within your project, you're going to see this little Vite config JS, which is going to show you that you just configured Vite for using a React plugin. Now there are multiple plugins you can, you can install, but we're going to talk about this maybe in a later video on a complete crash course. So having this done, you're not quite finished. It's also telling you that you should now see the into your project that you just created. If you name this something else, then please CD into that. So we're going to do this, CD, my bit and project. And from here, we still need to install the node package manager. And this is needed in order to create all the dependency that fit needs. So we're going to do here, npm and i short for install. And this is going to start installing the node package manager. After node modules are installed, we can now go ahead and just run our development server by typing in npm run and dev of course by typing in npm run dev hit enter and this is going to start a extremely quick server as you can see here in 250 milliseconds now this is going to run it on your local host 5173 meaning you need to click on this and hold down control and then you can click on it or just open it up in your preferred browser. But if not, it's going to open it up in your default browser. Let's click on this. It's going to open up the Vite project. So basically here's Vite. It's running in JavaScript. We're going to just going to snap it to the right side and make this a bit smaller right here. So we can also see the code. And there we go. We have Vite installed and it's running on our machine. Now let's go ahead and go into source, go into app and you're going to see here, going to close up the Explorer, just regular, plain old HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Well, actually it is React code. I'm going to delete everything that's in here, except this button, just to demonstrate that this code is running. Uh, we're going to, what can I say? It's save, there we go. We just deleted that one. 
now i'm going to replace this with this paragraph tag with youtube icon tag you can see it and also include here our state now this automatically added a use state the hook here so count set count a pretty simple project but we also need to test it if this is running so if i'm going to click this button it's going to set the count i'm going to delete the count from here i want to have it down here and instead of having this button without any text i'm going to include here the text with also a font awesome icon of like and then the count and let's also include the cdn link from front awesome you could find it on font awesome cdn and just click the js file now if you you're going to see the difference in it in the build file this is why i'm going to show you this in the build file there's no html file it's actually outside here so this is where your html file is located not like in react with this which is in the build file now we're going to go down under above our title and paste in the link to font awesome there we go you can like this video on youtube and it's going to give me a couple of likes okay everyone so hope you enjoyed this project oh by the way, let me show you how you can stop the server. It's basically the same. You're going to hold down, go down into your terminal, hold down control and then C and answer with yes. And this is going to stop the terminal or the server. If you stop your terminal, you could create a build version of your project by typing out npm run build. And it's going to create a extremely quick build version of your project basically creating it in 703 milliseconds this is a huge difference from react okay so there we go there's your distribution folder with everything ready to go so i hope you enjoyed this video again if you did click that like button and give me some likes also if you're not subscribed to the channel then consider doing so we're releasing new videos and projects on a regular basis so happy coding catch you next time Bye bye